On January 30th, 2021, the UK government announced its intention to join the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, otherwise known as the CPTPP. Just like trade deals with the US and Japan, the CPTPP paves the way for legal attacks from other members of the treaty that could reduce our data privacy significantly. The government is denying that there's any problem. It's continuing to blaze ahead, taking unnecessary risks, all while publicly saying it wants to keep high levels of privacy protection. Is the government misunderstanding the risks? Or does it want the UK to lead a global privacy race to the bottom? After exiting the European Union last year, the UK is forging new partnerships. With potential deals in mind, the UK has formally requested to join the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership. The data trade that would follow the CPTPP is a clear threat to our personal privacy and liberties. As British citizens and residents, we won't have any say or any leverage in whether our privacy protections for data flows are high enough. If the UK joins the CPTPP, our standards for data transfers will be determined together with other government members of the CPTPP. Some have lower privacy protections and standards, so would naturally want to lower ours too. We don't know the extent of our potential privacy invasions, but the content of the CPTPP suggests that protection has to be limited to what is necessary, leaving lots of room for countries to complain our protections for data transfers are too strict. What we want to do is place Britain at the heart of that global growth, selling in things like services and digital, where distance matters less. This complex interplay of nations, laws and trade deals could provide the blueprint for a patchy mess of regulations. This deal could force us to allow our data to be sent onwards to other members of the CPTPP and then to the US with very limited checks and balances on who will be able to access our data. This would establish the UK as a global hub for data laundering, bringing in EU data and passing it on with limited protection, the digital equivalent of money laundering. If this happened, this would force us into new trade disputes with the EU over privacy. Here's how tricky this is. The data agreement in the CPTPP isn't just about other countries. It involves corporations too. Big tech corporations will, in effect, be in charge of our data, as well as privacy standards. They will decide our rights and protections. With this trade agreement, the ISDS system, the Investor State Dispute Settlement, could mean big tech companies could sue a nation state and take it to court. In other words, big tech companies could literally blackmail nation states. Big data is big money. Data is insurance, recruitment, banking, online advertising, health. Changes to tighten data privacy could impact those investments. That could open up the right to sue our government to stop tighter data laws if they appropriate their investments. Trading away our personal privacy is a risk not worth taking. Data transfers could be very unsafe if legal attacks from other members of the CPTPP take place. And the US too could join the CPTPP, and that would increase the threats to our data privacy laws. Under international law, necessity is incredibly strict. It would be very difficult to, to get a privacy-oriented exception in, in there. So is this the exception uh, sufficiently broad to allow the UK to maintain its current data privacy regime? Uh, I, I, uh, the exception doesn't look that, that it would be sufficiently broad to do that. The UK is taking pointless risks by signing clauses that could be used by other governments to file a trade dispute and attack our rights and liberties, be used by lobbyists to loosen world-class British protections, or be used to bully the UK into accepting lower standards. There's a lot that could go wrong. There are ways to limit these risks, even if they don't get rid of them completely. Either don't sign the agreement, or include side letters committing other countries to allow our data protection system to stay in place. We could sign side deals with each country, just like New Zealand does with the ISDS investments through freezing the clauses. 
our government could take measures like those to reduce threats to our privacy. The government is making contradictory statements by denying that there are any threats to our privacy. At the same time, they are saying that data flows will be enhanced. Which is it? We were told that Brexit meant taking back control. We should not lose control of our privacy. We can stop this before it's too late. Take action now.